From your weather authority, here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. All right, let's start off with your weather headlines. Little change to the overall weather pattern as far as we are concerned. A few more clouds may move in on Friday, still expecting that cold front to arrive on Monday. As we move on and check out current temperatures, we're looking at 94 degrees in San Angelo, and that has been the official high temperature so far today here in the city. And uh, it's going to be plenty toasty out there for the San Angelo Lakeview Homecoming uh, Parade in Pepper which is uh, I think they're lining up right now starts about six o'clock out at the Foster Communications Coliseum parking lot area so plenty of heat for that 96 in El Dorado it is 97 in Sonora those two communities have been the hottest of anyone here in the Concho Valley this afternoon and this represents a two three or four degree increase in temperature compared to this time yesterday hottest weather in the state today right here where we live San Antonio 92 Laredo at 94, and we have 92 all the way up towards Amarillo. Clear skies in the Concho Valley. Out in the four corners, we've got some mountain showers going on. They're quite a bit cooler out there, so you can just imagine that probably feels pretty good. Even some showers in the northeastern Texas Panhandle, but of course all eyes are on Milton. Here is Hurricane Milton bearing down on Florida right now. Probably going to be on shore here within a couple of hours. Here is a closer look. Sarasota, Florida right here. Here's the eye. So we're less than 50 miles from this thing moving on shore. The eye wall is actually trying to come on shore right now and uh, just is going to go right over Sarasota. It looks like uh, Tampa, St. Petersburg, right in that area. Super heavy rain being in, on the north side of this system. Florida's had more than 55 tornado warnings issued so far today. It is a category three storm right now with winds of 120 miles per hour moving along pretty rapidly northeast at 15. It's expected as it gets over land of Florida tonight by two o'clock in the morning to drop down to a category one winds of 90. But the main story is the storm surge, uh, very high flood waters, uh, a foot of rain, plus the wind damage and uh, it is just going to change the uh, landscape there of the western coast of Florida. By Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock, still producing 70 mile per hour winds, drops slightly below hurricane strength well east of Florida. Back here in the future cast, we look at clear skies tonight. We look at mostly clear skies tomorrow. An interesting little feature is showing up here on our high resolution model. I'm not going to count on the rain. I think we'll get some clouds out of this, but this is Friday morning. Maybe a little disturbance bringing some clouds in. If it produced a shower, I'd be okay with that, but it isn't in the forecast tonight. 57 degrees, clear skies and pleasant temperatures. Of course, that 57 comes early in the morning. Tomorrow's another hot one, sunny hot, 94 degrees, just about like it was today. 94 is going to be popular Friday for the football game, Saturday for all your outdoor activities, Sunday 93. Columbus Day Monday still looking for that cool front to drop temperatures, hopefully about 5 or 10 degrees, perhaps even cooler early next week. We'll keep an eye on that for you.